Okay, in this next step, we're going to run kernel density surfaces for the entire population of coyotes. We're going to do this for a couple of reasons. One, we want to, we want to compare the population as a whole, and then we'll run this in a next step um, on the individual animals. But to start with, we'll just run Oh my goodness. We'll run this on the entire population. So we're going to input our coyotes again. We can leave the population field as none. Name our output raster. Okay, output cell size, I'm going to bring that down to something a little bit higher resolution. Uh, the search radius, I'm going to allow ARC to use its default. We're going to use the optional default uh, area units of square kilometers. We want to calculate densities, and uh, the planar method is fine. We're using a UTM coordinate system over a fairly small spatial extent. So we'll take a look at how this comes out. Um, this is the default output for ArcGIS. I tend to prefer seeing it not classified, but as a stretched color ramp, and I tend to put the black to white color ramp on it. Uh, we can overlay our coyotes just to get a sense for you know, the truth or the accuracy of the results, um, but that's it. That's the KDE. Now notice the range of values here. You should be asking yourself what these mean, especially relative to the units, square, uh, square kilometers that we saw, and you may even want to go in and kind of test what kind of densities we are seeing per square kilometer of every cell. Um, that might be a worthy exercise.